Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rice and I am here with our next book of the month. Can you believe it's already October? Well, I have chosen a book for this month that I think you will all love and it's a book called One by Katherine Otashi and it's an incredible book that talks about how it just takes one person to make a difference in other people's lives. This month, we're also going to be talking about the word courage. Sometimes it takes a little courage to be able to stand up and be that one person. So I want you to listen carefully as I read this book to you and see how you might be that one person. One by Katherine Otashi. Blue was a quiet color. He enjoyed looking up at the sky, floating on the waves, and on days he felt daring, splashing in rain puddles. Every once in a while, he wished he could be more sunny like yellow, or bright like green, more regal like purple, or outgoing like orange. But overall, he liked being blue, except when he was with Red. Red was a hothead. He liked to pick on blue. Red is a great color, he'd say. Red is hot, blue is not. Then blue would feel bad about being blue. Sometimes yellow comforted blue. Blue is a very nice color, she'd say. But yellow never said that in front of red. She never said, stop picking on blue. Green, purple, and orange thought blue was nice too but they never told Red to stop either. Every time Red said something mean and no one spoke up, he got bigger and bigger and bigger. Soon, Red grew so big that everyone was afraid of him. No one dared stop him. Red picked on all the colors and then everyone felt a little blue until one came. He had a different shape with bold strokes and squared corners. He was funny. He made the colors laugh. Red saw this and got very hot. Stop laughing, he told yellow. Stop laughing, he told green. Stop laughing, he told purple and orange. And they did. Red rolled up to one. Stop laughing, he told him. But one stood up straight like an arrow and said, no. Red was mad, but one wouldn't budge. So Red rolled away. One turned to the colors and said, if someone is mean and picks on me, I for one stand up and say, no. Then yellow felt brave and said, me too. Green agreed and said, me three. Then purple became four and orange became five. Blue saw the colors change. He wanted to count. Red grew red hot. He felt left out. He grew hotter and hotter and hotter. Red raced over to Blue and said what he always did. Red is hot, Blue is not. But this time, Blue stood up tall and became six. Red can be really hot, he said, but Blue can be super cool. Red blew a fuse and he tried to roll over Blue. But everyone took a stand and said, no. Seeing them standing tall made Red feel very, very, very small. Then Red turned even redder and began rolling away. Blue called out, can Red be hot and Blue be cool? Red stopped in his tracks. Red can count too, said one. Red rocked and rolled and turned into seven. 
everyone counts, they shouted, and then Red laughed and joined the fun. Sometimes it just takes one. Boys and girls, I hope you like this book one as much as I do. One of the reasons I picked this book is because our students just finished completing some surveys for our staff. And one of the questions asked was, what do you not like about our school? And boys and girls, my heart was so sad because some of the boys and girls wrote that we have other boys and girls here who aren't always nice to them and sometimes pick on them. And I wanted to make sure that we all had a way that we can stand up and make sure that we have the expectation that all boys and girls here at Cumming Elementary show respect and kindness and that we do treat each other very nicely. Now on that occasion when that doesn't happen, I want you to show courage and I want you to be strong enough to stand up for yourself or stand up for a friend or a classmate. If you see someone who's being mean to somebody else, have the courage to say no. If you talk to the student and it doesn't make a difference, make sure you come talk to an adult. Any adult in this building will help you solve this problem because boys and girls, the most important thing is that we come to school, we feel happy and safe. And most of our boys and girls here are the most amazing boys and girls. And I know that you will show courage and you will stand up and be that one who does what's right.